What's going on, guys? DJS here, bringing you guys the next in my Minecraft little noobs guide here. I believe this is episode 30 something. I, I wanted to catch this part right here. You can see this Enderman over there is just zooming around all crazy. I don't know what the deal is. Take care of this guy and see if we can find him. Um, there was two of these guys and they're just running around. I don't know what was going on. So what is that? Oh man, come on. Ah, I hate it when they don't give you a drop. They should always give you an ender pearl. They should, they should give you like five ender pearls. That's what I... I obviously need ender pearls in order to get to the end. Um, I need a lot of them. But I wanted to show you guys in this video how to make a complete uh, sliding uh, sliding door here. Sliding glass door. I used cobble for this one, but you can see right here. You step on the pressure plates. <laughs> and I end up getting caught in the middle. But you can see it works and everything that's kind of involved here. Um, first and foremost, I'll show you how to make all this, all the moving parts. You need pressure plates like right here. You need the sticky pistons. Um, you need redstone and you need a redstone torch. At least one on each side. You can see that, that the redstone on the top area right here is lit up red. Uh, and then the area underneath down here is, is not red. But when you step on it, it inverts it. So this is red down here. Now, and you can't see, but the, re well, the redstone torch is, is not red. So it just basically inverts it. And the reason why you have to do this is because these things have to be pushed in first. So when you click on it, it reverses it and pulls them out. So that's that's how you get the, the sliding uh, glass door or the sliding door or whatever to work. And I'm going to kill this creeper and I'm going to try to show you guys that. Oh no, don't blow up. I don't want to ruin my stuff. Oh shoot. My sword. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know how they... There's so many enemies out here. I need to put up more torches outside. Anyway, so let's uh, let's jump in here. I'm gonna get, what is all this? Um, first things first. I have some glass already. I have two sticky pits. So I'm going to create some more. Um, I think I need to make some uh, pistons. Though. How do I make pistons? How do I remember to make those? I think it's with this and wood, but I want to say it's cobble and wood like this. Oops. And then cobble, like cross. No? Wait a How do you make this? Maybe more cobble? Oh crap. Maybe this would happen. I'm going to look up how to make a piston real quick. Well, I have you guys on hold because uh, I don't remember how the hell this is made. Let's see. It is. Oh man! So I need iron and redstone, of course. So if I had iron on me right here, I could show you guys how to do this. Hopefully, I can get iron from all these damn chests. Ah! I bet I have some in the other the other house. This is going slower than planned. Um, once I have the 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 pistons, I can kind of go forward from there. So, and then if you guys didn't see, I have three dogs now. One, two, three. So uh, I found some of the missing ones, and I I think I met a new a new friend along the way as well. Um, let's see. Dang it, I need iron. I have diamond and no iron. Oh, here's some iron. I'm gonna say, what the hell is going on here? So. Iron, I need um, wood here, and then I need redstone down here, and iron right here, cobble all around. I knew it was wood and cobble, but I forgot that it's uh, all fancy and stuff with the redstone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, let's see, half here and here. I'm going to just hold shift and create eight of them, because that's all I need. And... So now that I have the pistons, the way you make sticky pistons is take the slime balls and add them to the pistons. So you put the piston here, put the slime on top, and now you have sticky pistons. Now I have 10. Um, redstone torches. Redstone on top, it's just a bit like making a torch, uh, but uh, you put redstone on top instead. And I just made a dozen of those. Pressure plates are the last thing you need. And you need to cook. Um, well, there's nothing in here for that. Okay, so I need to cook like uh, I don't know, eight, I think. 
So I need to create four pressure plates. So I'm going to cook create. Uh, I'm going to cook uh, eight pieces of cobble. No, I need more than that. I think I need one, two. Two of these make one pressure plate. So I guess. Yeah, I guess that's right. It's really late in the morning actually right now for me. It's like 4:30 in the morning. I have problems sleeping sometimes. Uh, it's part of the reason why I game. Um, you know, I just have problems just getting to bed. I don't know what my deal is. Uh, so I'm up playing Minecraft. I was doing some other stuff for my other channel, um, making a bunch of response videos and stuff. A lot of drama going on in the sneaker community. Uh, just something, one of those things that I uh, typically I try to avoid, but kind of got up, kind of in the middle of this one a little bit. And, um, yeah, so I've made some response videos. Kind of annoying. But, yeah, you guys said to feed the dogs this. All you do is you right-click, but I, I swear every time I try to do this, I always just end up hitting the dog. Oh, I really do eat it. Holy crap. Every time I, I did this before, they would just, I would just punch my dogs in the face instead of uh, feeding them rotten flesh. That's hilarious. So that does actually work, and now he's all, like, happy and shit and stuff. Whoa. This is cool. I'm making my dogs happy for us. Except for this one. Oh, there he is. Now he's happy. Now they're all happy. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, uh, whoever the subscriber is that left the comment, that actually listened to the video and left the comment and uh, left me the suggestion. Uh, now if I could figure out what to do with the Eye of Spiders, because I know that they you can use them for potions or something, but just one of those things that are mainly useless, it seems like, that, that are in the game that um, we have. Anyway, so this is probably done now. So now that I have my stones, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the bench here and put two stones down like this. Create the pressure plates. Now I have four. I have my pistons, and I'm ready to get started. Uh, I think I'm going to make a new house area out here where I'm putting these uh, up. Oh, man. Hey, chicken. I'll take it. I need to punch you. Uh, punch you with my sword. My S word. As, uh, I don't know if you ever saw that Wolf Barrel thing. I'm trying to maybe get it closer to Mike. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, I guess I can probably close up a lot of this stuff over here. I just didn't, uh, didn't really do that yet. Like, I could fill in all of this cobble or whatever I want. Um, what if, I'm just making it, I guess this one. So then I won't fall down the hole. And then you can just kind of cover the rest in, um, the, you can cover the rest as needed, um, like for the walls and stuff if you don't like the eyesore for the walls. But you have to, I'm just going to cover one side and use the other one as, um, a template. Because I don't, I, I've made these a long time ago. I don't really remember how. Um, it took me a little while to figure out how to do this one. So, uh, you know, some of you guys probably know how to do this stuff, but some of you guys might not. And again, this is a noob guide, so I might as well have fun with it. Um, I think I'll make another one. Let's see here. I'll follow this path down here. Maybe make one like right here somewhere. I guess we'll go right here. Because I, I think I'm going to expand the house a little bit more, so let's just call it right here, and then I'll put the, uh, maybe I'll dig out a little bit more here. You definitely need a little bit of room when you do this. Um, I think I need even more than that. I don't even know what I'm doing, because now this is going to... This is dumb. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to go out a little bit more from here. Probably have to go sleep in my bed or something. Uh, because I don't want the zombies to come out and disturb me in the middle of my building session out here. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just consider this done. So you need to figure out where the middle is going to be. And then it's going to push it from here. So this brick right here, and then maybe like that, is this about the right one? And then so it goes out, there'll be one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So we have two in on each side. I'm such a horrible builder. I don't know how you guys. How smart you guys are this stuff? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just the cloud here. Ah! <laughs> Already failing like crazy here. I'll go. I'm just gonna make a smaller house. It'll be one on each side of here. Three, four, five, six. And then I need a V on the inside of it so it faces. So one, two, three, four. And then this will be the foundation kind of. So you can see this lines up with this one over here. Um, I'll go ahead and put one more on this side and one more on this side. And well, I don't if you don't elevate yourself, it kind of makes it kind of a problem. Um, and that's pretty much. Oh, that's it. That's all we needed. Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go sleep so it turns into daylight. So this is gonna be a long video for you guys that are just like, if you just came here just for the tutorial, uh, you are gonna be pissed because you're gonna be like, what the hell is taking so long? If you came here to watch the con the. The video and the content though, then appreciate that. I also I turned down the volume, the game volume a bit this time. Um, last time I've gotten a, a couple complaints here and there saying the game volume is too bad, and I don't take those complaints negatively. I actually take that quite positive uh, because it lets me know. Because I can't, I mean, I record these these gameplays. It doesn't mean I uh, know everything about it. So uh, if, if it's unpleasant and too loud, then just let me know. Um, okay, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and use the glass. I just put the gla glass here to uh, just get it out of the way so this will be on here. Um, and then we need to put, we use a cobble and we're going to do like this. We're going to go two out from the middle, two and then one down low like this, and then do the same thing on the other side. So two out and then one down low. From here, we're going to dig out two. And then all the way down. No, we're gonna go down one more. Um, and then this is gonna kind of help set it, uh, set the tone for where we're at. So and I'll just go ahead and dig out all of this stuff. You can see all my tools. So I'm gonna break in the middle of this tutorial. This is just ridiculous. This is not the way I plan on doing this tutorial. But again, this is kind of like a, a live commentary tutorial. So. It's uh, it is what it is, right? It's not uh, it's not gonna be perfect. But let's uh, go ahead and knock this guy out as well because this is gonna be the fun part. So now that we have that, we kick this one out right here, and I believe this one right here, and then from here we take the torch. Oh, sorry, there. And place oh, and that's one mistake. You don't want to place it on the wall. You want to place it right in the middle. Uh, it does make a difference, I believe. Um, next, you want to just put one there and one here. Connects it, and it pushes it out. So the negative uh, version of that is the one that we're creating down here. So that's the, the positive one and the hot one. That's making it push together already. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. I have nothing to punch through here with, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oops. I did it again, making that in the wrong spot. And then like this. Now it's important. Let's say this is a tricky part. You always have to figure out a way out. Um, then you want to also take and put some of that stuff up here. Connect it like so. So you can see now all three. Yeah, all three are pushed it on this side. I was like, wait And then only two or one of them is pushed it on this side. So I need to go up here, connect the last three. So again. You start off two out and then one lower, and then firestone on top, and then firestone on the bottom with a torch, with a firestone, redstone, so the torch. And then you can see this part right here will connect all around here. Now it's not supposed to be lit up. I'm going to go ahead and click here and here and surround that area because the redstone actually does act underneath the pressure plate, which is good to know because uh, it's confusing if you didn't know that. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, add this in the wrong spots and have to destroy this one. And then you throw down a pressure plate right here where I put the redstone down here underneath it, as you can see. Um, and then, theoretically, if I step on this pressure plate, and there it is, so the door opens. 
And so that's one side done. So that's all you pretty much need to do to uh, to make this happen. Um, I don't have. I gotta get a bin. Oh no, I have on speed. Um, I can do the other side then. I probably didn't have one of those things, and you know, I gotta clear out some extra room because there's no point in having this build up so high when you can't. Uh, I don't know. If it's too high, then I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So, but I'm going to go ahead and dig out this side now, and then do the same thing. It's fairly easy uh, to accomplish, and I don't know. Like, I think it's kind of fun. Like to do little things like this is kind of fun because it just gives you a little bit something extra, and um, I don't know. I find it entertaining. Um, and I'm going to run out of this now. Hopefully, do. Ah. So annoying. I don't have another pickaxe on me, so I'm going to have to make one real quick. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to make that into a little house or something. I don't know. I should just make one. I need help making houses, too. I don't, you guys are like, even with my open lobbies and stuff, my subscribers just make really cool stuff. And I'm I'm the the dude that just looks at it and goes, whoa, that's pretty cool. I have no idea how to make any of this stuff. So I'll go ahead and use that and go through this side, and then just kind of take out the stuff again. Keep digging too low though. Actually, this sandstone is interesting stuff. I don't understand uh, what you could do with that. You kind of need if you can actually use it for something. Um, Maybe in an update or something, I'll make something awesome you can make with it. Alright, so... I haven't done a, a Minecraft open lobby for Xbox in a long time, guys, and I apologize. But it wasn't my intent to be this long. I uh, It's really just hard to do because every time I've done one, um, we ended up playing for like three or four hours or something crazy, and I just don't have the time to do that. And then I feel bad having to boot everybody off and when I leave, so... It's just hard to get in and, and make it happen, but... Anyway, that is that. That is the sliding glass door, and you can see it works right here. So, I have two sliding glass doors, and I'm going to go ahead. Well, actually, this is not glass, it's cobble, so let's actually make them both glass. But I think in my other world that I did this, um, I made not glass, but I made, uh, like, I think I colored wool or something and made them kind of unique, or you can use, like, other things, and I don't know. That's a voice of glass. Um, I do use other things like obsidian. I used obsidian before. I thought it was kind of neat. But there's a glass door. Now I'm going to grab some more. Um, let's see here. I think I have a bunch of cobble here. I'm just going to grab a bunch of cobble and start uh, making a house or something. Since I... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'll remove that. Let me just pick up my phone here. So I accidentally duplicated all these swords. Like, who needs that many swords? Whenever I need them, I don't have them. So that's just the way it works sometimes. Sometimes I hit the button, um, the wrong buttons. <laughs> I created all those dang, uh, I created all those things for nothing. But, all right, so at this point, if you want to just cover up the, uh, the redstone like this in the middle, um, it's a good way to just kind of get rid of it. And if you want to, even, you could, uh, you could like block up right next to the door, so it's just a, your preference. If you don't want to see the uh, the actual things like moving out or whatever, I mean, I could block this or all the way to right here, so you just see uh, this. It's up to you. I don't know. I'm I'm indifferent because sometimes it's kind of cool to see the stuff like being uh, being used. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and build the rest of this wall over here. I gotta get to bed here. I'm doing this this uh, gameplay for you guys. Uh, trying to get it out because this this video is gonna take forever to render. Uh, sometimes it takes too dang long. So maybe I'll leave it open for now and then I'll close it up if you guys think I need to. But, uh, but that's pretty much that, and then, you know, I'm going to just extend the house outwards, or I don't know. Maybe I should make it even on each side for once. I never make anything even. 
<laughs> Everything's always just lopsided. That's the main reason why I didn't do the door over there because it was it was lopsided. It looked so dumb. Uh, that's my lack of building. So I, I went two out from there. So I guess I'll do two out from this side um, as well. But yeah, man, I I'm such a horrible builder. It's fun for me to see stuff that people make, but I'm just so bad at actually engineering things. I'm more like I don't know if you guys ever played Viva Pinata, but like I actually had a ton of fun playing that game. Like just creating animals and I don't know, just random stuff. It's such a kids game it seems like, but I I thoroughly enjoyed it. My wife made fun of me because that that was back in the day before I played a lot of Call of Duty. Um, I really played a ton of different games. That's what what I'd like to be able to get back to is just go out and play whatever the heck I want and like do a lot of walkthrough videos, like kind of like what the Rad Brad does, um, and just do my own commentary over top of it and and uh, play all of like the newest games that come out that I want to play. I miss out on so much just from playing Call of Duty. I feel like and and it would be kind of neat to be able to, to branch out, but. Um, but we'll see, you know, if you guys are, like, open to that, that would be a huge uh, advantage, because I don't want to post a bunch of random stuff that nobody wants to watch. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's something in the future that could could possibly be happening here. Um, you know, Mass Effect 3, when I still haven't even played that. I was a huge Mass Effect fan, so it's embarrassing that, you know, I wasn't even, I haven't even played it. Um... But, you know, like I said, things like that happen, and that's just where it goes. Especially when in the Call of Duty community, uh, like, you kind of, you kind of stuck. You, you really just need to play a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, it looks like you put all in the next spot. Um, and I, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I'm fairly addicted to the game. That's why it's a problem. That's, I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing, right? Um, anyway. So I'm going to finish building this wall up a little bit, and then I'm going to probably... Yeah, so I guess you probably do need to build up the walls from both sides so it doesn't look stupid from inside your house. And it doesn't look stupid from outside it. Um, and then it's just like actually all the intricate workings of the of the uh, sliding door is kind of behind behind the scenes, which is kind of neat, I think. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it, though. I just wanted to show you guys the sliding glass door. And uh, hopefully you guys think this is kind of neat. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you have, then cool. Um, ho hopefully, I explained it a little bit better. I saw a handful of videos on this, um, and they were just really, really confusing. They they weren't very, I mean, but they were like easy tutorials. Mine's like not an easy tutorial. Like it's like a live com, like I said. But the other ones were just a little uh, confusing. At least this one, I, I feel like I got the general points across um, that I needed to. But what do I know? I'm just an old tired dude, uh, ready to go to bed, so, anyway, that's, uh, that's it, so we have sliding glass door, it's accomplished, and, and I think by the time the next video hits, I'm going to try to have this, um, built out a little bit more, so you guys can see, like, the little mini house that I made here, um, it's going to be nothing fancy, I, that I can promise, so, uh, hopefully you guys aren't expecting something awesome and extravagant, it's going to be a small house, as you can see. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Maybe leave a comment um, in the uh, in the comment section below and let me know what, what I should put in the house. Should I put like a, just food or weapons? Should I make it like an armory or something? I mean, give me some ideas. I'd, I'd, I'd be down for that. I'd be, uh, that'd be helpful. You guys always have good ideas. So, um, so yeah. And, it, you know, I, I apologize. Sometimes I want, I read a comment like when I'm in my car driving somewhere and uh, I'm like, oh man, that's that was an awesome that was an awesome point. Like, I want to be able to re reply to that. And then I, I don't get an opportunity to actually reply, but I promise you guys, I do read all the comments, and uh, and they are very helpful. Just like the guy that I mentioned earlier that, that told me about feeding the dogs um, and right-clicking, and I thought it was silly because I've done that and it didn't work. And lo and behold, it actually worked. So a uh, shout-out again to that person. But, yeah, man, I, I, I read the comments for sure. I have them turned on on my phone still, and uh, I don't have them turned off. So... Like, whenever I get a comment, I always check them out, and, you know, I always like to, uh, to watch them. Speaking of that, I might do, like, a QA and a sort of type video soon. Um, it'd probably be a good, good move. There's lots of people that probably have random questions for me that I'd like to avoid, but, uh, <laughs> but I'll answer, uh, for you guys' sake, so, 
maybe uh, maybe consider that in the future as well. But I've been rambling enough. You guys have been seeing me build this, and this is almost pointless. So uh, how are we doing, guys? I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here, and we will catch you guys later. Uh, happy Sunday, guys.